This isn't going to be awkward with us sharing a room, is it? Why would it be? This isn't the party suite. No, it is. Party of two. An intimate experience for lovers in love. Wow. Comes with a couple's massage with five flavors of lotion. I've heard that as a groomsman, it's my job to comfort a lonely bridesmaid. You want to dance? You think I'm lonely? Why? Just because I'm in a wedding dress by myself at someone else's wedding? <laughs> Why'd you get so fixated on that robot theory anyway? So I'm guessing it's not jealousy stemming from a deep, unfulfilled love for Neville Papperman. Yeah, no, literally would rather die. <laughs> I don't know. I guess weddings just make you feel like you can't know real happiness until you find a partner. And the idea that even Neville found that when I haven't kind of struck a nerve, even though I know it's not true. OK, well, first of all, it is totally possible to be married and miserable. Like you were. Twice. <laughs> and it's just as possible to be happy and single. And you're happy, right? You know what? I really am. I mean, at this exact moment, I'm a little embarrassed. Kind of hungry, because I gave Kimmy my halal meal. <laughs> but overall, yeah, I'm happy. Look at us. Girls tripping, champagne sipping, and chocolate drawer dipping. <laughs> And I brought something for you. Oh, Freddie. Thanks. <laughs> My way or the rosé? <laughs> Aw, I'm never going to wear this. <laughs> I got to hand it to you, though. This girl's trip is off to a great start. Shall we look at my itinerary? Gossip on the drive here? Check. <laughs> Freak out over how great the room is? Check. Look in all the drawers for weird stuff people left behind? Checking. I wonder what this does. Oh, honey, come here to me. They say go walk amongst the blossom and I like this trees. song. Mm. I like it too. Great for lots of occasions. Go to the cooking class. I wanna have a sex with you, baby. Mm -hmm. Is this weird? <laughs> Not at all. You know what? Who says you can't share a honeymoon suite with your platonic best friend with whom you have a complicated romantic history? No one says that. You know what? You take the bed. It's so fancy, it'll ruin me for all future beds. Oh my god. This bed is so comfortable. Freddie, you got to come try this. At least for a few minutes before you mess up your back sleeping on that couch. Sure. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah! This feels so good. Oh. You know what? I'm doing it. I'm going in. Come on. Oh. That is incredible. Oh, so good. Fun Brooke is here. Let's get this party stuck. Oh, looks like the party already started. <laughs> No, no. I mean, we're not. No. I mean, we were. Not like were, were. And then we weren't. Let me just turn this off. I wish someone else responsible was at this party. Where's Freddy when you need him? Who's ready to get drunk? Freddy! It's me, Duke. Hey, what's up, D-Bag? This is Snot Rag. MC Gym Shorts. And Lloyd. Now, if you'd be so chill as to direct us to your fattest keg. <laughs> oh, God, Freddy. You're an iguana guy now? Live in the dream. Don't you think you might have taken the time machine back a little too far? You're supposed to be reliving your 20s, not puberty. <laughs> Girls are lame. Not you, Snot Rag. Why did I ever think I should start a channel with Luke? Am I that desperate for a partner? Don't answer that. Still talking. <laughs> I just want to make things again. You don't need a partner to do that. Yeah, I don't need a partner. I need Sam. But she's off following her bliss with that biker gang. 
The obliterators. <laughs> hope she's okay. It's Sam. I hope they're okay. <laughs> I just wish she was here so we could do iCarly again. Mm. Do you think I could do it on my own? Doesn't matter what I think. It matters what you want. Of course, I wouldn't be completely on my own. I'd have my new producer. Aw. You do mean me, right? Yeah. Do you think you could shoot me using that filter that makes my cheekbones all... That filter that makes you look like an alien? A sexy alien. Ever since I got divorced, the second time, also the first time, but mostly the second time, I just felt like I'm never gonna meet someone who's right for me. You feel that way about Brooke? I don't know. Maybe. It's fun making out with her. Fair enough. I just wish I got to make out with someone, too. Ding dong. <laughs> I might be able to help you with that. You know, it took me a minute, but I think I finally get what you two have been trying to tell me. The honeymoon suite, the massage, Harper conveniently not being able to come at the last minute. Not to mention the obvious sexual tension between me and Carly. The witch what? You want hot mess Brooke for a hot messy threesome. Oh, I don't think. Let's hear the woman out. Okay. I say we just jump right in. You know, because rules and boundaries, they make everything so blah. Brooke, we're not trying to have a threesome with you. Oh, God. Why does this keep happening to me? First at that funeral and then at the DMV? I'm just gonna grab another drink from the hallway and go home. Hey, I'm Miranda Cosgrove from iCarly. Thanks for watching. Make sure that you like and subscribe.